hey, it's your big pal Brad, Ken List at a destination resort, and I get to photograph. I got the best job in the world. I'm gonna take you on a wild ride. There's so much detail in here. I hope I don't forget anything. I'll add it as I need to. This is a commercial property, Ken listed a resort. So there you go. I'm gonna show you what a resort is. Come along, they gave me one of these golf carts. I hope I don't kill myself or roll it over. It's electric, so it's nice and quiet. And we're gonna run through this whole property. It's on the Kentucky River and it's got a waterfall. It's got a couple waterfalls. I don't know what's going on lately. We're getting properties with waterfalls. I'm the waterfall specialist, I guess. So it's got two massive waterfalls, one on the property and one is the view across the lake. So there's a 300 foot dock. It's crazy. It's a destination resort, RV park. It's way underutilized. The rents are way too low. Uh, it's uh, it's 1.2 million. The cap rate is fantastic right now. The income is fantastic for the asking price. All we have to do is show you a few things where you can raise the rents a little bit and you can maximize stuff that's not being utilized, such as uh, tent camping. Uh, they're not doing any tent camping. Hello, a lot of people with tents out there who would be glad to pay just to hang out. Some of them have electric, some of them don't. There's 91 RV sites. Some of them are the pull through with the big campers and everything. They're beautiful campers. I'm gonna show you everything. Come along for the ride. It's gonna be a very long video. I hope you stay with me to the end. Like and subscribe. The important part is to subscribe. And then we'll send you videos all the time. If you like unique and unusual properties, we get them. If you want some land, this one's got 58 acres on the Kentucky River with a waterfall. Don't forget to subscribe and then you will get an email that says, hey, Brad just uploaded another cool video. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Love you guys so much. 17 million views. Wow. Okay, so 58 acres, all this frontage on the Kentucky River. I'm going to show it to you here. I, I, I've got to measure it yet. There's a sign. Now, this has been paved. That's where the property starts, by the way, by the sign. And this has been paved all the way in. Oh forgot to show you this and then there's about there's about 20 acres that are clear here and there's all power i'll show you in fact i'll put a picture of the power pole right there you can see it there's security cameras everywhere too so don't come out here and pee outside okay you could put all kinds you could put more rv spaces out here you could do tent camping you could do whatever i mean it's a resort so you could do boondocking there's all different kinds now i'm not an rv resort specialist so you got to give me some uh some tips and pointers in the comments. I say, hey, Brad, that's not boondocking. That's something else. I always appreciate your comments. This is just so beautiful here with these rocks. The place is right down there. And look at these rocks here. Beautiful. 71000 bucks. So that's all done for you. And you're not going to believe it. There's got to be easy hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff everything is included it's turnkey back here is where he's got another he said five acres and i looked at it and i didn't think it was five acres son of a gun my little software said it's nine acres so there's like nine acres back in here ish everything is very ish so you know it's not a quarter acre it's like about nine acres it might be seven might be 11 who knows that's where he processes all his firewood i'm going to show that to you firewood you know, just a few sticks in a bundle, five bucks. I don't have to tell you that that's a little cash cow. And darn convenient for the residents too, the guests. A lot of these people here are what they call full-time. Meaning that they're here, you know, several months at a time. The Palisades are right across there. You can't see them probably on the camera, but that's okay. Just enjoy this. And I'll get to the Palisades later for you, I promise power on all these poles led lights everywhere and you got the little trash bin here they come the garbage truck comes and takes that out and that's in the pnl i can share with that I share with you all that jazz my wife and i were talking and say this would be like a whole lot of fun these folks uh, owned a convenience store in michigan they got tired of the weather yeah no kidding there's a nice little waterfall there's no water in it right now and here's another little one here they got tired of the weather. Uh, they were in the UP. You know, I don't have to tell you about that. That was like way up there. So they're Upers. And they sold their convenience store and they bought this and they have had a ball. 
So this is where they have their picnics and stuff. They have, uh, occasionally they'll have breakfasts. They do every once in a while, maybe half a dozen times a year. They'll do a uh, customer appreciation thing Saturday, break out the bacon, the eggs, the sausage. You could fit whole hog on there. Remember, I'm a barbecue guy. It's a beautiful fireplace or whole hog. You wanted to impress somebody, have some fun. Who's going to buy this place? Well, actually, somebody like me and Cindy. You know, we've got... Uh, We've got a business that's running really good. Maybe you sell your business, maybe you keep that business and you can come up here and it's a whole lifestyle. Being a destination resort, you've got all kinds of help with tourism. You've got all kinds of help with the state. They've looped in with the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. People who wanna come and RV and camp and do all that stuff and do the Bourbon Trail, uh, they can do that here. All this stuff is included. This hustler, you know, if, if you're a guy, if you're a real guy and you, you've you never been on a zero turn, yo, it to yourself. It is a lot of fun. You can mow at Mach 10 and turn on a dime. It's really just a lot of fun. Kubota, best there is. I just bought another one yesterday. We've got three Kubota uh, diesel mowers just like this. That diesel engine, it just doesn't ever quit. And it's, it's serviced right here. It was bought and serviced right here 20 miles down the road. So you know you're gonna get good service. Quick disconnect bucket, all included. You got a greater blade for the trails. Check this dump body out here, this dump trailer. The Polar Trailer. I think that's pretty cool. I've never seen one of them before. I'm gonna have to get one for my four-wheeler or my side-by-side. -side. That grass catcher, seed spreader. There's a salt spreader up in here or sand spreader, whatever you want. All this stuff, this would cost you a fortune to make this. It's all here. I can't say everything that you see because I don't know. I mean, maybe they want to keep something or whatever, but Ken told me pretty much everything you see, except for like two or three things in the garage, I'll show you, conveys. That's pretty cool. So this plows snow would be a very rare occasion where we have snow, but every once in a while we'll have some. What's back here? Oh, more blowers and, you know, one of those little billy goat blowers, four foot fan that's included. I'll put the whole list here, all the ladders, chains. There's got to be, I don't know, a hundred grand worth of stuff, all included. Maybe it's 150, you know how it is. You go to the store and I'll take one of these, one of those, and then all of a sudden it's like, whew, 900 bucks. How'd that happen? These chains here alone. Here's the spreader. There we go. All kinds of plumbing parts, bolts for everything. Must have cleaned out a hardware store or something. Wood stove this is a great shop. And you know what? you know what it does? It smells like my uncle's workshop. Fantastic. A little bit of grease, a little bit of dirt, but it's a comfort memory. And then he's got all kinds of jazz in here that costs a fortune. These are all the breakers for the electrical pedestals. What do we got here? I don't know. More stuff. It just goes on and on. This is a $10 cabinet with $3,000 worth of tools in it. chop saw. The consummate handyman this guy is. He's just, just tinkers. He's got a welder in here that's all included. All you guys out there are probably like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. All LED lights up here. Everything's been converted to LED. He said that his one bill was $13 a month, converted it to LED. It's $2 now. I don't know what the status is with the chainsaws. I'm sure... There's something that Ken can tell you about that I can't tell you. I know both of these blowers go. There's a trash pump, uh, pressure washer, little generator, 6,000 watt generator, air compressor, the hose reel. The wood splitter does not go with it. It does not convey. He built it with his dad. This guy's at least my age. He's got to be 60. And uh, he built it with his dad. You ain't getting that. He's got sprayers up here. All this stuff. Oh yeah. He's got more stuff than a hardware store. We're right in the middle of this virus thing and I'm wondering, is this a good idea to, um, you know, are, are people here? Well, they have to operate at a certain percentage. They're ready to open it up. They've opened several things up already. Parks and things like that, state parks. So this will be open up again, but here's the key. RV sales have like double. People are doing stuff that require RVs and then what are they gonna do with their RVs? Of course, they're gonna come to 
resorts like this. There's the waterfall, that's the view. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, they've done so much work here in the last 13 years. I'm gonna show you what they've done. They've got, this is an Italian jobber here, the, the American ones, uh, US ones, supposedly just a half a million operations. This is like a million and a half. So uh, 15 grand there. This is the convenience store here. Uh, I've got, I'll show you everything. Uh, laundromat here, the ice machine. You get the profits, the ice company takes care of everything. There are two bathhouses here, the women and men's. I can't get in the women's, which is fine because it makes me look feel a little weird. But the men's room, it's got a, a urinal and then it's got a regular toilet, two sinks, and then three shower stalls. You hit the button and it just goes for so many uh, minutes or so many seconds and uh, and then you, you get out. It's a good sized pool, I'll put it here, bike rack, and it's all stainless steel and concrete. So that's fantastic. It's not open right now because they're not allowed to have them open. Everybody's friendly in RV place, you know that. Place for the kids. Everything conveys. All kinds of power, everything's metered. And the manager, who is the owner, his wife comes and reads the meters every month. Your site rent here includes water and sewer, and then you pay for your own, um, you pay for your own power. And it's whatever you use. If you're not here very often, it's not very much. And if you're here a lot and you like it 50 degrees in your house in the summertime, well, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be probably what it would be at your house. But if, if you do things right and conserve energy and stuff like that, it's not gonna be that much. She just bills whatever the utility company bills. These pull-throughs are nice and these were paved here over the last couple of years. There's gas tank it, a lot of them. They'll bring them in and the guy actually who runs the gas company has a place out here. The last several years, they've been full, 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 but they're not allowed to be open 100% here. They're they're probably right at capacity or just under, and then you know how it goes. One leaves, two come in, we gotta, one's going to leave next week or whatever. Every lot has fire pits, and of course, he sells you the firewood. Now, that's razors and razor blades. Go right up that hill, and that's where that land is up there. Now, about 10 years ago, uh, they did some very select logging. And I'll let Ken tell you, but it was, that was 10 years ago. Are they ready for that to happen again? Possibly, I don't know. Maybe you have to wait another 10 years. Not really sure, but you could do a timber cruise with a forester consultant. I don't know what Chris charges. He's a great guy here, but usually 10 or $15 an acre, something like that. You can fit several more RVs here in the back. And then of course, in the backpack, in that five acre, nine acre, whatever size field it is, you could put a bunch there and you could put a bunch up on the top. Sewer would be easy uh, because you would just uh, do, do a lagoon and uh, way back in the woods, that would be so easy, uh, so inexpensive and easy to maintain as well. beautiful rigs in here. There's some, and most of these people all have golf carts, which is cool. There are a couple uh, destination trailers, which we used to call them park models. And I'll show you what one looks like. You know, these are like over the road. And then the destination ones are ones that are supposed to be set here like more full time. If you're into RVing, you know exactly what the story is. I'm not an RV guy. I wish I was. Spend more time with family. This is a uh, destination style, what we used to call park model. And I'm gonna take you in one right up here. In fact, it's pretty nice. This is the company truck. Nope, you gotta buy your own, but the company does pay for that. And it's a Denali, which gets me excited. That's a beautiful vehicle. 
it's just so much stuff done. Of course, the landscaping and stuff. But obviously, there's some water that comes through here, right? So he's got this water coming out to this area. And then he put all that riprap around there. And then he's got another uh, row of riprap. I think that's pretty cool. Like all this stuff. Because he's here full time, he's on it like Donkey Kong. Now, if you want to live here full time, that'd be one heck of a lifestyle. And if you don't, you want to have someone else run it, well, this comes with it. I don't know if I pointed out there's three slides on this. Two here in the living room, dining room area, and then one in the back. You probably saw that already. So the lifestyle is great or something for your manager. I mean, if you and your wife are retired and you want to just have some kind of fun, this would be it. Of course, it's a premium lot. There's the water. And there's your fire pit. They just told me this is a 2020. You're not getting a very used rig here. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, like, you're going to blow your socks off. So let's go in. We'll check it out. They had to turn the lights on and all that jazz. So destination rig and a destination resort. I don't know what all this stuff does. I don't need to know, but we can tell you all about it. When you come here, have you hang out with the, with the owners. Would this be yours or would this be your manager's? This is the one slide here. And of course, this other slide here, you got the LED lights there. Pretty sweet, I like it. What in the world? How crazy is that? Can you see that? see that or not. So you got dining area, the living room, fireplace. And this is beautiful. I don't know what this is. It uh, doesn't feel like vinyl, but I don't know whether it's vinyl tiles or what. The cabinets are gorgeous. I'm trying to do it with my other hand. drawers solid surface this is a forest river I think they said Cedar Creek I'll put it down here what it is 40 I don't know Ken said 40 feet he says 43 feet I have no idea maybe he's counting the tongue I don't know you can't see in those windows but you can see out wake up and look on out to the river you can hear the water. You can hear the waterfall from here. Pretty fancy. There you go. I just want to know where the Yeti full of beer is. That's what I'm looking for. We're going to go down there. You see that little roof? It's, that's the boat dock. More underutilization. We're going to make some money on that. Come on down with me. All right. We got to do something with this boat dock because they're not doing anything with it. You know, when you focus on one thing, it gets really good. Well, they've been focusing on, obviously, the place. Here, it's a picture postcard. The income is fantastic. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave this right up here. So they focused on one aspect of it. Now it's your turn to fix the rest of it. Oh, by the way, the, the boat ramp is right over there. So you got a boat ramp. For guests only, they charge only $10. So, you know, that's underutilized. This thing is just sitting here. What would you do with it? You can buy, you can buy these used pontoons cheap. 8, 10, 12,000, and then you could do sunset rides at night. You could rent them out by the day. They go for about 200 bucks a day to rent. So you don't have to do too much math to figure that one out. There's one guy who lives here and he gives moonlight, not moonlight rides, sunset rides for people, 200 bucks. So there's, there's money to be made here. You could get beer, you could get wine, you could get liquor. 
You know, it's, it's just different. Do you want to do that? Do you want to mess with all that stuff? It's up to you. This is concrete, but it's a floater. So it's floating concrete dock. It has concrete float. There's a little island out there. Well, it's a peninsula, whatever it is, right? So it was way out here a couple days ago. We had a little rain yesterday. So the river came up, the waterfall's running. It runs a lot harder than that a lot of times. There's power out here. I guess that's, is that 30 amp or 50 amp? And then uh, lights. But they're just not using it. And this thing over here, it's just new dirt for the boat ramp. They cleaned it out, those trees and all that stuff. They cleaned it out, scooped it out, whatever. And then there's a set of stairs right next to it. So it looks ugly. It'll grow grass in a heartbeat. This is the best, best topsoil you've ever seen in your life. It's river bottom. Just throw some seed on there and you're done. Yeah, I'm serious. Please tell me in the comments. I learned so much from you all because everybody's come up with different ideas. Tell me what you would do with this boat ramp. You can't just leave it sit here. They've left it sit here for, I don't want to say 13 years, but I'll bet you for 13 years and just let a couple people who've got boats up here stay down here, I guess for free, seemingly for free. And then it's got, it's got all the power going to it. And then it's got these cables. I guess it just comes up and down on its own, but you can, you can reel them in or let it out or whatever you have to do with that. Ken can tell you all that stuff. Remember, I'm just his assistant. What the heck do I know? tent sites here absolutely unused that's all power obviously water I've got the statistics I've got the statistics for you the count on all that stuff I want to take you down a fun little deal here this is one of two trails the other one's a little bit muddy you know it rained a little bit yesterday so I'm not going to show you that one because I don't want to get stuck. I don't mind getting stuck if Cindy's with me or Ken's with me. They can help me. I'm kind of here by myself. So, uh... oh, by the way, they, they provide Wi-Fi for the people. That's another stream of income for you. Their cost is like $120 or 130 a month. Well, heck, you could charge an extra whatever. No one wants to be without Wi-Fi. Heck, you've seen the size of me. I would eat ramen noodles before I'd give up my Wi-Fi. You got two issues if you buy a property like this. You either need massive amount of capital expenditure, for, like for road paving or something. It's already done for you. And I'm sorry the, the, the tinky tinky thing is going like that. Um, uh, the next thing would be um, the next thing would be equipment. So your FF and E, right? fixtures, furniture, and equipment, be the tractors, the all the jazz in the store. I've got to go in the store yet. I want to show you the store. I'll put a picture of it here. But all that stuff adds up. 14 camera security system with 45 day backup, just on and on, everything. Point of sale. The tractor. Oh my gosh, that tractor's got to be 28 grand by itself. Maybe, maybe. that's probably pretty accurate. I was going to say maybe a little less. 
but I bet you that's pretty accurate. And then all the implements, the loader and the, the grader box and all that stuff, the mower. I know how much mowers are. Just bought one yesterday. They're well over ten grand. See, these are more tent sites down here. Totally not being used. So that's income that's lost every day. Actually, the laundromat does pretty well. So how about them apples? You could probably throw another washer and dryer in there and get a huge ROI. I know that you could pay them off in just a few weeks. I know that because they shared the numbers with us. When you go to buy a commercial property or a business like this, or which it's both really, right? People share all their information with you and we've got it. So all you need to do is holler to Ken, tell him, hey, I want to see the P&Ls. Another thing you could do here is kayak rentals. Kayak rentals would be huge. He turns down people who want to do kayak rentals all the time. I, I said to him, why would they pay 50 or $100 a day for kayak rental? Well, because they might live in an apartment and they don't have room for it and they don't want to maintain it or they just want to try it just for once in a while. So I said, well, how does it work? He says, I, literally, I would start with 10 to 20 of them right away. We get that much call, that much demand. These are older people. They don't want to get too crazy with too much more work. In fact, they're trying to cut back. Can you imagine being in the convenience store business for 20 or 30 years and then doing this for 13? It's a lot of fun. They said, but they want to they wanna get bored. They want to be a little bit more bored. I'll show you in here, the laundromat. Somebody keeps turning off the light on me because they're conserving energy like you're supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know where that goes, but I'm sure that's some kind of deal. These are like new Maytag commercial, Maytag commercial. Certainly room for another one or two here, and then uh, certainly room for another dryer. But you're looking at $100 to $200 a week profit. You know, that stuff adds up a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm going to take that home with me. If he comes out and it's missing, he better come and look at my house. Isn't that a beautiful are you, truck? Are you, are you done in your shop so I can put the stuff away and lock it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, I sure, I sure am. All right. Hello, don't shoot. It's just me. So here's a convenience store. And there's, gosh, plenty of room for lots more stuff. You know, you run up to Sam's Club, buy what you need, bring it out here, mark it up. I don't know what the markup is, but I imagine it's pretty stout. You're definitely 15 minutes or more from town. How far is it to town? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You can charge an extra couple bucks for all this other stuff. Canned mushrooms. Mushrooms don't grow in a can. A little charcoal. It's the wrong color bag. Well, that's all right. I'm going to let her slide. She's a client and she's very nice. Private do not open. You got to be kidding me. You can't do that to me. Look at that. I know where I'm coming for dinner. <laughs> and then there's books and uh, videos that are, you know, rainy day things for people. You know, just customer appreciation items, which you could, again, turn into cash. Do you sell coffee or is it just free? It's just free. There you go. Ice cream. Keep Ken away from there. Let's see what we got here for office. Plenty beautiful stuff. The people who worry are the people who don't have to worry. Does that make sense? <laughs> if you could see my office, oh my gosh. Like, isn't this clean? This is clean and well organized. And capture my own heart. Or a gal after my own heart. Is that bottle of uh, the kicking chicken yours? The what? The, the wild turkey one on one. Oh, yes. No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke for someone. It's a long story. <laughs> another, another big thing is if you're wondering okay, so we talked about two issues with a property like this. One of them is CapEx, the, the roads, the, all the equipment, the FFE all that stuff that you have to buy. And then the next thing would be labor. So you go, okay, do I really want to do this? Yeah, it would be a lot of fun with my wife. We could have five, 10 years, have fun, have the kids here, the grandkids here all the time. Or maybe you're out of state and you just want a good investment. Right now, 80% goes through the credit card. 
80%. So not only is it taking a deposit up front, but it's also to finish the deal when they sign the paper. And we got the credit card on file. So if there's any damage done, just tap the card. Here's the deal. If 80% is here now, how much would it take to do 100% on credit card and then your, your loss, your theft, whatever you want to call it, with an employee is really, really diminished. Of course, also they can see exactly what's going on here and they know you're recording everything. Now all these cameras roll, right? Yes. Did they do it just arbitrarily or did they go with motion or what is? Well, well some are arbitrary, some go with motion. Okay. If you see something, it'll stop, zoom in on the person. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. hmm. There's even up top so you can watch the gear. Oh, there's one up in the top one. Oh, okay. Those there you go. Too, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got to go up in that field. That reminds me. And then a restroom here. I guess this is just a metal building, which is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Easy to clean. Yeah, really easy to clean, right? 29 gauge. All right. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. I'm going to continue on. There's more to see. All right. Tink, tink. Doink, doink. There we go. We're going to the back. This is an area he calls Outback. We're going to go on out there. And you remember how this goes. There's the main part of the property. And this road that comes down, it's welcome sign. We're going Outback. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? I told Ken, I said, can you please turn this waterfall on? Can you imagine how pretty that would be? And I bet it rolls through there. We actually happen to know the neighbor. Uh, they're good friends. So you've got all kinds of good neighbor going on right there. He calls this outback. I call it underutilized income. So my gosh, you could throw you could literally throw a lift station here and pump up to a lagoon. You could put in septic systems here. It's not a big deal. It's got water. I mean, water is easy to run. And this is where he does his firewood. And then he's got these deer stands for archery. Maybe that's what you would do back here. Maybe you'd have so many deer. There's a deer lick. Maybe you would have archery and shooting here. Maybe you could put some teepees up. Maybe you could do that air creep. You know, those little tiny houses? They make them with air creep. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a little link here and you can check that out. All this inventory is included. Probably said that a hundred times. There's the shooting range. And this is somewhere between five and nine acres. all the way to a point here, all the way in the back. And remember, the river is right there. Wouldn't this be a great place for a retired cop or military? Oh my gosh. Maybe that's who your manager is. He comes out here with one of the four chainsaws or 14 or whatever he's got and makes these in just a little just a little bundles five bucks i'll have to tell you how great that is let's go on up on top and i will show you what's going on up there you know in pigeon forge and gatlinburg and all those places Site rent is $95 a night. $95 a night. Here they're only charging $40. So this, no, this isn't Gatlinburg. Yes, I understand. But do you think $45 or maybe even $50 is the right number? A good percentage of their people are here either weekly or what they call permanent. So you'll get contractors who'll come in who are doing a big job and they'll stay they'll stay a year or two. Uh, sometimes they'll stay eight or nine months. They have traveling nurses. They come in and some of those traveling nurses, I mean, 
they do super well. Plus, they all get a per diem for housing. I don't know what that per diem is, but that usually is enough to pay for their their rig and for and for the site rent too. Here's the power. In fact, there's I'm not going to ride all the way back there, but you can see they've got uh, they've got the uh, security cameras. There's this this one's a, a spinner job, and then that's maybe a nighttime deal meter so box i think that's what it's called please don't if that's incorrect terminology the transformer's right there so when they have the rural electric line they just throw the transformer come on down fit up your temporary and you're rocking and rolling if you can hear it Here's the waterfall across the river. There you go. Here's another 20 acres up here, underutilized. Definitely so easy to run sewer to a lagoon in the woods, way at the far corner. Oh, I don't have my phone. I'm on my phone. At the far corner, throw a lagoon in there and then just shoot the, um, the sewer over there and the water could come up from the bottom. Here's the power. You can put any kind of power here you want. Give you some of the details here while we're driving. 58 acres. 90 sites or 91 sites 90 sites and that only occupies eight acres so you got another 50 acres to do some stuff with 20 acres clear up on the top for expansion five to eight or nine acres out back you're going to see that there's 43 tent sites about 15 of those are with power the rest are just boondocking it i guess ask them what do you really need here Okay, so what we really need is kayak rentals. You can make a couple grand a weekend. Start with 10 or 20, and people just come and rent the kayaks, and then go up and down the river. That river is 35, 40 feet deep in, uh, right out here, I believe. And, of course, you got to ask Ken, because everything I say, you have to verify, because I'm not competent to tell you any of that stuff. Pontoon boat rentals, sunset cruises, boat slips. If you put beer in that convenience store, you'd triple your ice sales uh, overnight. Those two washers and dryers bring in $100 to $200 a week. The security system has 14 cameras. And we, we talked about it earlier. I can't remember where I'm going to put this in. But I, I got to tell you, you know, the, the biggest thing you're going to think of is, who can I trust to do all this? Because it's, it's a cash business. Well, sort of not really. Oh, you already have 80% credit card. It would be a snap. Well, here's what they do. They take the credit card for the deposit. Then they take the credit card when you get here. And then they've got the credit card if you do any damage, right? So if they're already at 80%, how easy would it be to get up to 100%? Then you have no loss. What, what, what would you call it? You know, theft, loss, whatever. Shrinkage. There's a little place to put your boats. This is where they cleaned out that boat ramp. Now, you, I mean, that's as nice as any boat ramp in the state of Kentucky. You can just go right on down there. You got to understand the mentality of uh, an older seller. They're tired. They're done. They don't want to do more stuff. For instance, they could hook up with KOA. You could hook up with Good Sam. And then you'd have all their marketing helping you. So we talked to him and they said, that's 20%. They take 20%. I'd rather keep the 20%. Well, if you're full all the time, you should. But if you're not, would that bring you more business? If you're full here now with your, the 90 some sites you got, that's great. But what if you had tents? What if KOA could help you fill those tents? What if you tripled the size of the place by throwing sites up in the back on that 20 acres? Would that be worth it to you? Well, it might be. You gotta do the numbers for yourself. You gotta see what you prefer. But whenever you're involved in a franchise, I mean, people get involved with franchises for a reason, right? This might be the right property for you. 
this might just be a curiosity. This might be the right property if you're looking for good income and something to retire into. It's very good income. Somewhere between, oh, 100, maybe 150,000 a year net, net operating income. Not too bad. You got the money just sitting around. If this is not the perfect property for you, maybe you're gonna watch it out of a curiosity. Why not? The inner workings of a destination resort. Why not? I'm always interested in how things work and how money works and how people make a living. I think it's fascinating. If this property's right for you, call Ken. Number's right there. If it's not right for you, that's okay. Get on our home finder and tell us what you want. Maybe you want five acres, 20 acres, a house, a barn. Maybe you want to build a cabin. Maybe you want all woods. Hunter just listed 128 acres with waterfalls in the Daniel Boone National Forest. That's pretty crazy. We always have these unique and unusual properties. So definitely get on our list and you'll be alerted to these properties before they hit the market. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part of our channel, our channel together. Tell me what you want to see. Put it in the comments below. Definitely subscribe. And thanks for being patient with me, blabbing on for hours all the time. I want to share the stuff that I know with you so that you are informed as well. I can hear Kentucky calling me. Ciao. I am the waterfall specialist. We got a destination resort and uh, I've been four wheeling with this poor golf cart. I hope I don't kill it. It's a destination resort. I just want to know. Oh, jeez.
I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.